Hey, you down here? Okay. Um, second video on my new toy tool. Uh, the uh, Harbor Freight Earthquake EQ 12 XT uh, Impact Wrench gun. I've already did an unboxing video and all that. I did a live video and then go on that. Got a little oil there, half a bottle of oil. It's nice to have a little thing with a pointy deal to get it in there easy, but I did buy some of their oil. I looked all around. It was it was the cheapest place to get it, and uh, you know I don't think there's going to be really any difference. I, fi I figure if they sell it for uh, for their tools, and they ought to figure it's good, you know. Uh, so. I'm going to try it out, and uh, I just couldn't resist. I'm tired and everything, but I've been up all night long. <laughs> got, I don't know what time I got up. I don't know if I got up at 8 or 10 or what last night, but it's 2.30 in the afternoon now. But once I saw it, I had to have to try it out, and I got some fittings I ordered with it. I won't be needing that right now, but I do need this to put it in the gun. So, uh, you know, they didn't come with it. I, I just stuck them in the box. But I've got some uh, Teflon tape here. Why is that not going down? Oh, the little rubber thing in the way. A little dust cap came with it. So, uh, let me get that on there. Then I'll take it out and try it out on a couple of lug nuts and stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, well, I will just... Uh, yeah. Think about that. Uh, I wanted to hit those lug nuts with little rust busters. They have not... In that truck, they haven't been, you know, taken off in... Two... Uh, uh, I can, Three, see, I haven't driven it in two years. They haven't been taken off in two, four years. I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's see. I was just thinking about my camera and all the trouble it'll be to drag it around because I already have it all set up here for doing this. But I thought, well, while I'm hooking that up, I'll just go ahead and hook this up because it's not like it's going to make, it's not going to take. <laughs> Enough time. I was thinking I ought to do it, you know, but because uh, that'll fall on me. Okay, so I'll just do it. And I know my toolbox is near that you can see, so do it down low here. That's where, where I got my camera aimed. other tools right now but my ranches and stuff that I want to use for putting this on is up there you got a ceiling fan over there that he leaves running all the time it's starting to rattle it's making kind of a noise not a rattling noise just a noise last couple times I came out in the garage like the motor was working too hard or something and I thought but I wasn't sure what that noise was and now it's rattling and then quit rattling rattling quit rattling about this minute so uh, let's see
plastic fridge, so I do not want to go too tight. Usually, <laughs> that sort of thing, you go as tight as you can, really. Maybe that's aluminum, but no, that's plastic. Wow. Now, I said in the previous video, I went ahead and got this because it did pass the tear, tear down and torque test reviews. So, uh, of course, it's not going to be as durable as a as a uh, all aluminum one, or the older ones. But I've got one right there that somebody gave me. Oh, you can't see it; it's in a case, and uh, it never did work. Uh, I've seen videos now. You back when I got it ten years ago, there wasn't really any videos on how to work on those things. And I couldn't find much information at the Campbell Hospital. I did find a manual, well I found it years ago, but you can still find some diagram and stuff on it, I saw it the other day, but uh, anyway I'm going to take, I want. I was going to do that before I bought one, but I decided that it's only, it, what best it would do when it's brand new is 240 foot pounds and this is supposed to test out to do about 800, so hopefully if my air compressor can give it enough air. It will do that and get that thing got to be punctured. Yep. There's a hole poked in it. Go to one place and then another. That's not really going to help. Well, we'll split the difference there. Well, we'll split the difference that far. That way, where I'm at will probably, no matter where I'm at, it won't show up. We'll get down on the toolbox. That's where I'm most likely going to end up being comfortable working. So, I just want to get this out because I've got a scribe in there that should be pointing enough to a caliper or something to keep my scribe in there. As close as. I can't back up and get any further away in this garage, so I don't have a that is so long. Oh, I guess I should just cut it off. I'm gonna poke myself trying to do that. I'll just cut the end off. Well, let me try it one more time. I can hold it with pliers or something and try to poke it through. If I can poke it, then uh get it to come out then I you know I won't drop too much at once. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Okay. That's pretty tough little bug in there, but I think I just split it. I can't see around here. Well I won't try that anymore because I think maybe it was trying did or was going to split it. Let's see. I think it's just dirt that I'm seeing. Yeah, I think it might have worked. Let's see if we can get a drop out of it. Guess I'll try it on something else first and see. I haven't over lubricated this in a long time. My caliper. <laughs> I don't know how to think about doing that. That looks like maybe if you're going to do it. I don't think anything's coming out. I didn't get it punctured. Okay. You know what? I don't really want this. They're, they're doing fine. I don't want to all over them. But every time I touch them, they'll be oil in my thumb. Let's just cut it off. I've got something to try work on the end. I've got some flush cut wire cutters. Other things. They're not good for. Whatever they got used for that dang near ruined them the last year or something like that. Not me. You know? Oh, yeah, you can tell when you get it because you, 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 you just don't turn it upside down the air. Come here. You gotta go way on down there. There. There it is. Oh, it has a nice small hole in it. You know, it doesn't pull that too much out. I did buy, I think I showed you a little bit of a 
that would be going quick. Is a half a bottle. What cheap? What cheapos? Yeah, I know there's always some cheapos. Dang. Little bitty bottle like that, you couldn't fill it up. Yeah. 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 But I did get this. <coughs> camera set up let's see I guess first we'll just plug it in and make sure it does something then we'll get it out there by the truck okay where's my there's my air hose and the air compressor right there let's see yeah I was trying to get we'll just get it to where we can see both I'll leave it like that because okay for a minute I thought it wasn't recording anymore. I'll leave it like that so that we can I'll just hold it down low and uh, I guess I can get my old chair that I was playing on the air compressor is sitting on a box because I have it, have it rigged up so I can close that up and help kind of muffle at least some of it. So right now we just want to see it spin up. So uh, is that going to be in the picture? Yeah. Now let's leave the gloves off until we got to be able to use our hands. I'm not, I see that's my older, I bought a brand new brass one. I guess that's where I'll put that brass one is on here. Yeah, because this one tends to want to pinch you and everything. It doesn't leak. Now I set the compressor on a, a hundred foot, hundred pound, foot pounds, a hundred PSI of torque. 100 psi of air pressure. Didn't get the torque, but air pressure mixed up. And uh, I had it on 125. I brought it down to 100. This hose is long enough. I think it, you know, that would be pretty close to running it at 90 to the gun. Definitely don't want to. I don't want to overdo it, but I don't want to underdo it. And I noticed uh, the gun. I believe it said. I meant to look in the manual again to double check, but I think the 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 uh, manual said maximum pressure 90 psi, and that's what it's rated at. Compressor, it's a 4.2 or 4.1, 4.2 CFM, eight gallons. This actually runs; it only actually takes six CFM. But I'm sure you know. I figure if I just don't like, I don't have to run it full blast if I don't need to, or just don't hammer on it very long. And I have another tank I'm going to add to it, lazy chain it if it won't handle it. Let's see. There we go. That was on reverse. Well, it sure is torquey. Let's see. Oh, okay. Forward reverse. Still doesn't make sense. That's reverse. <laughs> It'll take me a bit. A minute to get that in my head. Okay, so. Now we'll go, go set up at the truck. Let's try it out. We can get that set. Well, let me take the camera around there. I wondered if it was going to come on right away, but it didn't. So that, that's actually good. I think when you really start hammering on something to try to get something loose, that's when it's going to... Oh. No, I want this back wheel because it actually is... The tire's going, keeps going down. So uh, this is where I want to be. 
I just realized I may be too close. Let's try it right there. That'll hold it up. I'll get this to down as low as I can. I didn't realize that I was going to be so close that I might not be able to get low enough. There we go. Yeah. You may have to see what I'm doing. Okay, I just remember those are those long. You know what? That old uh, that old Campbell Hospital set actually has some deep sockets. I call it Rust Buster, but it's actually what I like and have been used for 20 years or more now it is this PB Blaster. Works better than WD 40 for sure. And it's especially if you're, you know, you're not gonna, you don't wanna wait a long time. Put some on that. I'm not taking it off, I'm just gonna see if it'll take a deuce. So, uh, this, uh, this case here, I can't see the screen at all. Okay, well, I'll get where I know the, I don't think I'm really in it. Anyway, this gun here is a Campbell Hospital. It does not work, but I think I can take it apart. And, uh, I might be able to make it working, but like I said, it only does 240 CFM when it was brand new. So, yeah, and there's some sockets here that. Oh, I thought some of them deep. There's only one. There's one missing. That's probably the. Oh, it says flip three quarter, three sixteenths is what it was. These are just regular sockets. But they are impact sockets. There we go. That's what I need, I think. I've got some more in my truck that I bought back and got, did I buy them or did I get them in 1975? I've had them since, I think, 1975. And, uh, that one's a little loose. What is that? Oh, that's 21 millimeter. Okay, so what I need is either three quarter, not uh, three quarter, that's what I need. Okay, so I have some in my truck. That lid's about to come off of that thing. I was thinking I would use this as my case, put that thing in here and all that, but I'm going to put this back in the garage and I'm not going to carry the camera to go get those things.
I had. Well, I threw it down already. I thought I was going to be gentle with it because it's plastic. That's not how you work, is it? Okay, so the ones I have, these, one, two, three, four, five, six. I thought I had a few more than that, but I think the uh, three quarters is probably what I need. Well, I think that's the biggest one I got. The one that's missing in that set, I think, I guess that, see, these are not... Uh, I should have left that thing out. These are not. Oh, uh, yeah, some of them. Ooh, these are not going to go on to. Yeah, there's. This one's the right size. For some of them, they're different sizes. I just remembered that. This one, the three quarter, like I said, is what. Uh, but it's it's got a. Uh, the hole is smaller. Uh, as soon as you get past the hex, the hole's small. So that's why I'll grab none of those. I know I'm going to use my regular. I got some. I'll go ahead and get that other one and try it first. I'm not going to use my regular sockets. Believe. See, I'll leave these laying over here by the camera stand. I gotta beat that box there. Yeah, first thing I did back in 1975, I guess it was. It's the only thing I, time I really ever remember having an impact to use. Uh, I used regular sockets because I figured they could handle it. Well, they can. And I broke my. Yeah, these are. Uh, they're way deeper before they get smaller. So but that one there would be the one for most of these. That fits that all right. Two loose on that, two loose on that. Probably be okay on there. So we'll try that one. Put that one. Like I said, I'm not taking it off. I just want to test the gun. So let's make sure we're still recording. Yeah. Okay. Some of these I've used to. There we go. Some of them I've used to. Uh, and it's up all the way. So let's see how it goes. I said I could stay out of the way, but these 10 inch, these 10 inch wheels are a bit. There we go. Oh yeah. Now I have had so much trouble getting these off over the years. I have broken studs. Uh, use had to use, you know. My, with my tire irons and stuff, I'd have to use a big old cheater pipe. And wow, see now I'm old and I just can't handle all that. So. Okay. Air compressor came on. go uh, I'll, while the air compressor is running I don't want too much power anyway so I'll go ahead and put them back <laughs> and I am not overdoing it because I do know if I heard somebody talking to me uh, nope not overdoing it because I do know that uh, doesn't want to break those studs, and I do know these. This thing can uh, really put out more than is needed. So, uh, so it does it. Cool. Of course, I did use Rust Buster, but you saw that one there. It took it a minute. 
Let's try another one or two. I'm going to put these in here. I'm going to put that one. That is a three quarter, so I'm going to put it right there. I may, I don't know, maybe I can figure it. Well, I have to put a hinge on it or something, I guess. This used to have, evidently used to have an air ratchet in it, too. It's got a spot for an air ratchet. That's just enough room for my. Oh, you can't see that box. Okay, so if I was using it a lot, I would probably hook up that other tank, but. That's, you know, probably about as it's <laughs> close to its limit. I think these will probably be alright. I'm going to try them. I said they were smaller. But I think they'll be alright. Which one now? Yeah, that's reverse. Yeah. Now let's let it, let it catch up. So yeah. It's not the most ideal compressor for this, but it will do it. And of course I could give it more more air. Huh. I'm gonna go put it back up on. Yeah, I think I'll put it on 125. So when I went, went there to do that, it was showing more like 80 or 90, so... It had changed since I adjusted it. Okay, let's see what it does on that. Now, of course, you can't know for sure if that one was just looser or what. But it didn't take anything. It didn't give, give it any... Uh, you see, all the way down this hose, without a... Oh, yeah, I was going to stick an air gauge on that. and see. See what I thought. Oh, I don't think I have a way to do it. I don't. I don't think I have anything I can. <laughs> now with that up there at 125, I definitely won't hit it too hard. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Now that makes a huge difference. 125. it's really hammering now so uh, I think at 125 it would uh, be able to take them off without even have, having sprayed them or anything of course I sprayed them and went to work within just not even a minute so it probably didn't do that much good anyway I mean I could still see rust on the thread it hadn't soaked in there very far my uh, van that this camera's leaning on you might have saw it when I was walking around you know it actually has a broken valve stem on the other side and I have a stick wedged in the hubcap to keep it 
you know, from leaking. And, but I have a well, I have a jack stand under this one. That's the reason it's not down. I think I'll air it up. Yeah, I'm going to air it up while we're here. Let me go get my stuff. But let's see if that fits in there too. Well, we'll do that in a minute. Go get my air tool. That air pressure was actually showing 126, so uh, it's a little, you have to kind of stick around and mess with it to get it right on, so I didn't do that as anything, but uh, let's see, air tool, I want off this one, yeah, nothing that I've got would check that, so. Uh, I'd have to rig something up, like if I were to have a <laughs> rig something up where I had female to female and put that on there, then I could check it like that with with just one of these. Get a uh, pretty good idea of what's at the at the. Uh, at the end of the hose, I may do that. I have, you know, I have a gauge. I was thinking I have a gauge. That I bought years ago for checking, testing gas lines. I had to replace a pipe in the attic years ago, and I had to have it t test it, prove that it would hold, you know, 15 pounds of air for an overnight or a day or, or several hours or something. Anyway, it doesn't go up to like 40 or 60 pounds. Not enough. Okay, so this thing is just about empty. So. Now I've used this to. I think, yeah, I think I aired up this tire with the compressor and it did a real good job, you know. It, I mean, it'll probably kick on in a minute, but it recovers fast. That's what makes it usable, and it was only 115 bucks. So 115 bucks for the compressor. 125 for that impact. As long as they don't break, it'll be well worth it. So I'm afraid the tire is so old that it's starting to leak somewhere. Although I can't see any cracks in it. But these these old mud tires, when they get old, I don't care what brand they are, when they start seeing cracks, one day they're going to blow out and you never know when. I don't see any cracks in this one though. I bought it used, but it was it was new. Uh, it still had the rubber rubber bumps on it. I think you can still see some because I didn't uh, I haven't been driving this much for over 10 years so like a couple of times a year so the tire never got wore out yeah well, I haven't got 
15 pounds according to that one. Let's try one the other one. Sometimes these things start acting up. They get to... Uh, yeah, there's more than that. There. There's 15 on according to that one. Okay. And that one shows a little more. So I think I'll try using those two. This one... I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know if I put any rust... Put some rust busters on it. Something. I need something to help it. There we go. Yeah. Air it up. And these tires don't want to take air. It's like the valve stems are kind of clogged or something. And I don't put tire fix flat in them ever. I thought it was my old air compressor, but it's doing it with 125 pounds of pressure, or say 120 or 110, that I'm getting out here to the hose. I'm gonna go 35. And they do take a lot of air. These are big tires. I mean, these are th what are these? 33s or 34s? And I, I used to always run 35s on it. I remember when I used to I always carried a you know, you know, a 12 volt power pump. But <laughs> when I had my 35s and I had flats a couple times, I had to air them up. I'd get a hole in it and I'd plug it. I always carry plugs with me take 25 to 35 minutes to air one of these up with one of those. And that thing gets so hot you think it's going to quit on you. Actually, the one I had did quit after about 3 or 4 years of having this truck. That's 32 or so. That says 30. Can't even hear the air going in there hardly at all. I'm used to you can you usually hear it going through the valve pretty fast when you air tires up. So I don't know, maybe because they set so much, they try to clog up or something. Because there's lots of condensation and moisture inside the tires. You know, and you're pumping it in there when you air them up. Looks like I've got. Now, well that jumps way up there. Yeah, 35 to 36, 38, 35 to 38. Sometimes those marks are one PSI, sometimes they're two others. I think those are two. You gotta. Sometimes they'll jump real far and not go out far enough. Hit it this drum. I think I'm getting the speed a bit. Okay, so uh, I want to see if that. Oh, let's. I know it won't run, but 
first I want to see if that. Uh, well, at least I'm going to carry this stuff back up that way because I can't get a good view here. <coughs> oh, okay. This got millimeters on the right side and American on the other. So, uh, I'm going to carry some of this stuff back up that way. And I'll put the camera in a minute. Get the camera this time. Let's see what we can do. I was wanting to go over here and I don't know, I'm debating about going over here and messing with the van. Let's we'll see. I think I can handle that. Uh, like I think I said when I first started, I've been up all night. And I really didn't feel good. And I didn't think I would be doing any of this until after I had what would be my supper, then I started getting a little better. Let's see. I want this to where you can see the. Where's the compressor? There it is. See? Yeah. Oh, I'm still too high. It's down there. So, I'm trying to get it to... Trying to get it to settle in on 140. It was actually more like 120 just now. It doesn't... You have to... I guess you have to let a little... You know, you have to sit here and watch it to get it to... Get to what you want it on. Did do what I wanted it to do. I'm, I'm leery of this chair. Last time I was out here with it, you have to carry it all the time to get it over all your junk. You know, just the nature of running around with air hoses and cords and stuff. And uh, it's real heavy, and I dropped it. And then it's always so easy to drop it on your foot. I dropped it on my toe, and. Uh, my toes infected, and uh, I think that's what did it. I don't see a bruise or anything, but I also dug and dug and dug and couldn't find any ingrown toenails or anything either. So I think maybe that's what did it. I'm gonna see if I can get that set where I had it before. It was stopping at 125. Well, it goes to 150 here on the tank, but automatically you're not even supposed to. You can't set that. You're not supposed to mess with that. It says in the manual, but you, the output, put whatever you want. And I want 125. You don't have to do 
do that. You just well, it helps to let a little air out. But you know, I thought you was gonna have to let it out till it ran. Then I thought, well, let's try it. Okay, now. To there. It's still on 126, <coughs> but when you use it, it goes down really fast. So, I think that will be good to run the, run the <coughs> impact. I've been using it from, just for blowing myself off and stuff, and it's been just great. It doesn't, it's not too much or anything. So, uh, and again, you're not getting 125 at the end of the hose. You got, I've got, I don't, let's see, I think this orange hose is, I think it's 25 feet. It's 3 eighths. Yeah, these, okay, so my hose, I couldn't remember. My hoses are 3 eighths. That's good. I was afraid I had quarter inch hoses. And then I have this one that's been spliced that is probably 15 to 20 feet long. Maybe 20, well, I don't know. It was originally probably a 50 foot and this thing i've had it since 1976 or so 75 76 when i used to do maintenance on gas stations and convenience stores gas convenience store gas stations but service stations yes service stations and uh, anyway I, I got to save it i got to keep it because it kept it kept oddly enough they kept spraying leaks but it never did it again to me but, uh, well, maybe it did. That's why I have a splice in it. But anyway, that's the only one I ended up with. I think I kept a couple, and that's the only one that actually is worth keeping. Didn't spring. There, there was something weird about them. Uh, I don't know what brand they were or whatever. It was a different brand. I guess they were they were probably cheaper, and they decided to try them out. You know, usually they, always, they used to always be red, well, and these were blue and a different brand, I think. But they're rubber. But anyway, it's... Guaranteed it's better than this PVC stuff. But this was $16 on sale with the air blower kit. <laughs> so it's it's alright. It's a pain in the butt. It won't roll up right. This one, I thought this blue one was bad. That was the other thing. Is uh, the gas station guys hated it because they wouldn't uh, roll up right. And they just get in knots. That was the other thing. They had such a fit about it. We had to take all of them out, even the ones that didn't get holes in them. Yeah, my uh, plastic hinge on my little case is just about completely dead. So, uh, I'm not sure where my camera is shining right now. There we go, yeah. So I wanted to see, this is the uh, camera hospital. There. All the stuff, of course, when I put those, those things in those spots, in the stable, the camera hospital gun, Looked like it would be a good gun, you know, to me when I first saw it. But it's yeah, it's heavier than this other one, I think. Eh, they're about the same weight, really. This one really actually builds better in your hand. But I'm gonna am gonna take this apart and see if I can make it work again. But it might be good for if it works. It'd be good for less, you know, things that aren't as hard as like getting off the club nuts. It's, it's it's angled differently, so yeah, the lid won't really shut. You can break what's left of that hinge trying to get it to shut. So I guess I'll just leave this one in there. It's got an air thing in it. I'll show you what it does. I've already tried it on. I believe I tried it on here. That little uh, ring that it works good. <laughs> it's hard to get a socket on it. Once you get it on there, it stays good. I already figured that out. <coughs> but, uh, let's see. I don't know where I need to be. Picture. It's probably better to be up higher so that. And that. Yeah, let's go on over here. And there's where I'm setting everything and all that, so come this way yeah okay 
I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it done in the videos, but taking them apart and greasing them up, cleaning them real good, this usually makes them work again. <laughs> Okay, so if I really do want to... Oh yeah, I was wanting that. Yeah, it's pretty well stand where I want it now, so... I'm gonna... close this up maybe in a couple of noises. That's all I do with it, it's just... Couldn't see what I was doing. I just put that... See now I closed them, shoved it back up in there and closed that lid. Thought I was aiming at that. Okay. I think I'm gonna go over there and I'm, I don't know. I've been wanting to fix that uh, 